Okay, just a quick short video to talk about this setup here. You might recall we moved the laundry up here and it's a stackable. And a notch, this it might seem hokey, it's not finished, finished, just so that you know this clears. And <clears throat> these are just rudimentary shelving with a panel. And the idea here is the reason. I didn't go crazy with superfluous trim to make it look super nice nice is I want this to be able to be taken apart easily. So you can lift all these shelves out and this panel is only held in place with some screws on the back side. So this way the machines are easily serviceable. You can get them out. So before it was, you know, one unit next to the other downstairs. They were old and beat up and tearing up the clothes. And then the client had the idea to move it upstairs since this is where the bedrooms are and all the clothes are. So it made a lot of sense. And yeah, I'm still going to make some parts for the tops of these doors so that this reveal is even and small. I'll get to that eventually. And that's the door I was working on. You might have saw the short where I had to... I took this out and made it work because it was all bondoed in. Somebody just had like a, yeah, it wasn't even working. I still have to get the discussions and a period correct knob, but now it's perfect. Back to the closet, you open this door and you come in here. Now Lowe's is now selling, I think they're calling them shaker doors. So it's a, it's pretty close to what was in the house originally. I haven't painted the door yet, I left it white, but I did paint the trim. This is just a box up here for the, um, you know, the dryer uh, vent. And this was a built-in originally that went across and I cut it and put a panel in and painted it. So this looks, this was all there originally. I would cut that back by mistake, not knowing. I thought I was gonna have to take the whole wall down, but I left that kind of, you know, fudged it a bit. And I put this quick little shelf down here, no big deal. I initially intended it for shoes. But the thing with the door is, I was going to make a panel here and make my own door. I saw these and I thought, well, this is smarter. Now you can access this. If you need to clean the vent, you can access all the plumbing in here and the electrical. Backs of the machines. Again, uh, the panel over there can come right out. There are just a few screws in here. There's one right up there, it's kind of hidden. I think there's one under here, it's kind of hidden. A couple more down there, that panel comes completely out. And with a couple people, you can now get the machines in or out, replace them, no big deal. This hits the floor here, I could easily trim it. I just haven't, because it's, it's just not that important. I had this stuff, and I figure it's not a bad idea, a little insulation, a little heat shield kind of. Uh, plenty of air breathing in here, not a problem. And this is perfect, I mean, that's what you like to see. Yeah. Anyhow, you know, that's, that's that. It's, it's, I'm not going to tell you this is perfectly dialed, but it's pretty nice. And it was a smart idea by the client. So anyhow, where the washing machines were downstairs, it's a big hallway, big area. It's where I did the ceiling, the wood, um, kind of that shiplap style wide board ceiling because that ceiling was so out of whack so the next thing is what we call a butler's pantry and i think it's in some of my earlier videos these videos don't get a lot of views typically <laughs> but what's going to happen downstairs is it's going to look like it was uh, put in when the house was originally built in the 1920s i'm going to do it in that style inset doors doors like this flat panel doors they'll be the cabinet doors and it's just, it's, I don't want to give too much away now. You guys will see the process. I'll be heading over to the shop soon and I'll be there for weeks making all those parts. It's going to be built in. It's not going to be cabinets like your typical, what you're used to seeing, like, you know, plywood boxes. I'm literally just building a bunch of panels, installing it, and then hanging the doors. It's going to be very cool. So I hope you guys want to see it. I'm going to post it. And mostly I post it for my clients. So but some of you might enjoy it at the same time. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. I'll catch you guys in the next one.